Einbecker, Erbock, Hell. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Bows Reviews. This one is from the Einbecker Brewery from Einbeck in Germany and this is their Erbock Hell. Now I've done a few reviews on the channel of the Einbecker beer and their speciality is Bock beer. There's a bit of a bone of contention but I think from the research that I've done these were the originators of the style. Now, I'm not gonna go into the history. I've, I've done that on a couple of the videos, so if you wanna see the history of the Bock beer and of the Einbecker Brewery, check that out. I've just tried the the Felton's Puliken. I don't know how that's pronounced. My mate just messaged me and he said it's a really popular beer in Germany in the, from the region where he is, and he said everybody who drinks Felton's loves that beer. I'll give it a 10 out of 10. It's the best Hellas I've tried from Northern Germany. This isn't a Hellas though. This is the Erbock Hell. Er, what does that mean? Our, I think. Uh, so you sometimes see that prefix um, on German beer where it says Ertit, which me means basically their, it's their flagship beer. And the Erbock Hell, I think, is their flagship beer here. Now they do a Maybock, they do a, a dark Bock beer, and this is the light coloured beer. Now Bock is a strong lager that has a few characteristics to it. It's usually strong in ABV. Maybock, as you know, is a seasonal beer, but Bock beer is generally a strong lager, or a strong bottom fermented beer. You can have dark, you can have light. The normal colour for it is usually on the copper, amber style rather than the light one the light style i should say but this going by the name is the Erbock hell so this will be a light colored one which is interesting now there's an alarm bell ringing already can you spot it yes it's a fucking green bottle now i did try the maybach and that was a little bit skunked now i've had this in my fridge for a while and i'm wondering whether this is going to be skunked as well Got a bit of a downer on skunked beer at the moment. I am fucking sick of it, I have to say. There is no excuse for it. And I love Budvar. I'm not going to go into the whole saga about Budvar, but I love Budvar. But if you're drinking Budvar out of a green bottle, you're not getting the true taste. Get it in the cans, because the stuff you get in the bottle, well, if it's anything like it, is over skunk central then. It's got no reflection on what the beer tastes like at all. And that's really annoying. But there you go. Anyway, enough about green bottles. Let's get it open. Let's see what's going on. Before we get it open, I'm going to give you a little rundown on what it is. It's a 330ml bottle. It is 6.5%. That's perfectly acceptable for a Bock beer. And it's their Erbock Hell. There is no brew sheet. I can't tell you what hops are in here, but Bock beer does have a, a more of a multi character than it does a hoppy character. So let's get it home, see how good it is. Oh, now I'm really wary about this being skunky. Please don't let it be skunky. There is the cap. Let's get in a clock. 
Oh, this has got a little bit of a... It's got a little bit of a skunky aroma to it. Really annoying it is. Really does fuck me off. Now, if you've ever had Stella or Bex from a, a dodgy, cheapo supermarket, you know what skunkiness smells like and what it tastes like as well. Needless to say, it's not fucking nice. But here it is in the glass. Yeah, light coloured. Does smell skunky. Yeah. Really is. I can smell some malt trying to get through, but... It's not as bad as some of the Stellas and the Becks that I've opened in this house, and the Peronis as well, but... And the Budvars, yeah. Basically everything in a green bottle. I haven't bought Heineken or Carlsberg. Like, fuck off, I ain't drinking that shit. A couple of people have asked me to review the the Carlsberg new recipe. It eh, eh, ain't gonna happen. It's just gonna be a rant. If you wanna see me ranting, then what's that old, the old saying? Scream if you wanna go faster. Uh, message me if you wanna see me go fucking mental. <laughs> right. Yeah, this, uh, I can tell there's a nice smelling beer underneath that slight skunky aroma but hopefully it hasn't affected the taste too much Prost as they say in Germany wow oh What's going on here? There is a large amount of ethanol on this. And there's like a, a sweet corn style flavor to it. What the hell is going on here? I don't know what to make of this. Very, very bitter. And I think that bitterness is coming from the slightly skunky aroma. But what's striking about this is the ethanol is huge. It really does have a, a big ethanol presence on this. It's almost like a Belgian blonde or a Belgian double. There's a sweetness to it. And it's almost like invert sugar or candy sugar that you would see. They haven't put that on there. It's just, was, it, was it contained? Water, water barley and hops. Um, no, this is a weird one. It's definitely unique, but it, it smells strange and it tastes strange. In a blindfold test, I would say that was Belgian. Because there's big ethanol. No banana and clove, obviously. There is a little bit of spice, I will say that. There's like a peppery spice to this. But the ethanol is just huge. And maybe it's, maybe it's that that's putting me in mind of a, a Belgian blonde. But I don't know what to make of it. And I've tried box before, and they've been quite agreeable. May box, dunkel box, or dark beer, dark box. But this one, this is weird. My palate's sort of adjusting to it now, but it's just, it's just ethanol and there's like a creaminess to it, like a sweet corn, creamy type flavour to it. And there's a little bit of bitterness on it, which I think is coming from a, the skunky, 
the skunkiness and I'm not sure whether I like this or not I think this is a bad bottle it's not what am I talking about a bad bottle it's a fucking green bottle it's going to be bad isn't it but I don't think that's the true taste of the beer because of that green bottle and the aroma smells as I say slightly skunky but there's a little bit of a nasty going on there And it's almost cloying. There's like a sweetness to it, coupled with that ethanol. And I'm really not sure about this one at all. Um, mm, no, nah, don't like it. I think the skunkiness has ruined it. There's a lot of ethanol in there that's coming through. In fact, that is the first German beer. I've tasted Doppelbox, but you get absolutely no indication of any ethanol in it at all and it's 6.5 percent i've tried doppel box at 6.5 percent and above 7.5 percent not got the ethanol definitely get it on this there is a sweetness to it that i can't explain and there's a bitterness to it as well a sweetness and a bitterness if you can imagine that and I think that's coming from the hop or the noble hops that are trying to get through but I think there's also like a skunky horrible nasty undercurrent in this as well and I have to say I'll finish this but I don't think that's how the beer should taste and it's their own fault because they put it in that fucking stupid bottle oh well you can't educate concrete. So what's the verdict on Einbecker Urbock Hell? One word, disappointing. Now I tried the Maybock, I tried the Dunkelbock as well, or the Dark Bock, and they were nice. The Maybock was very nice. It was a very extreme example of the style, but it was nice, I did like it. This, on the other hand, oh, I'm really not sure about. There's elements of skunkiness in it, which is just, I think, ruined it for me. That's where the nasties are coming from that I'm getting. But there's big ethanol on this, and you, that's not a characteristic of German beer. Unless you're drinking something insane, like an ice bock at 11% or 12%, yeah, you're going to get that. It's like a barley wine, and that's half the, that's half the flavour. It's ethanol. It's what a lot of the stronger Belgian beers, they use that as well. And it works. This, it doesn't work. I can see my palate's adjusting to it, but them first few mouthfuls will put a lot of people off. Um, oh, this is disappointing. This is disappointing. I, I don't think I'm getting the true flavour of the beer here. So if I do this in a can, I'll be intrigued to come and revisit this because I can sort of half see there's a decent beer in there, but I ain't getting it. And for that reason, I'm going to give it a very generous four and a half. That's, that's how much I think of this beer at the moment. But the reason I've not given it a one and I'm going to pour it down the sink is because I can sort of get elements of the of a decent tasting beer in there. It's just like I'm getting bombarded by the fucking skunkiness that's in here and it's it's just ruined it for me. And that's why it's why I go into one when I see a green bottle. Especially when it's I mean this has been sat in my fridge and every time I open the fridge door, this is right underneath the light. And it only takes, was it in the, who's the fucking band? Who's that, what were them, who are the paddies that got lucky? What's the name? Boys Own. That was it. Was it Only Takes a Minute Girl? Is that, did they do, oh fucking, I'll tell you what, I'm pretending I don't know. I really don't, I genuinely don't know. But it only takes a minute for, uh, or a minute or two, for a green bottle 
to go light struck, or the beer in a green bottle to go light struck, and pale beer is a big candidate for it. It's worse than the clear glasses. Honestly, I've fucking bought some non alcoholic I told you, I bought some non alcoholic beer for my missus. She don't drink no more, she's giving it up. But she does like the occasional non alcoholic lager, and I've got a, a, a against my better judgment, she wanted it though, so. He, uh, she who shall be obeyed, as they say. Uh, I got her four bottles of Corona, non alcoholic Corona. I felt dirty fucking buying them. I felt violated. But as soon as she opened it, the whole fucking room stunk of you know, rotting cabbage and a cross between marijuana as well. I mean, cannabis is related to hops, so there's your fucking chemical reaction right there. But yeah. The perils of light struck beer, kids. So I'm going to give that a four and a half. And if I can get it in a can, I don't think they do it in a can. So I think the only time I'm ever going to have to review that again is uh, is actually go to Einbeck in Germany and get it on tap. Oh, will that ever happen? Who knows? Funds are tight at the moment. I've got so many fucking shit. I might Got so much shit going on at the moment. Trying to get the studio sorted out, buying gear for that. Fucking microphones ain't cheap. And uh, yeah, trying to get a holiday sorted out. My missus is going to Belfast in October. She's asked me to go over there with her. She's going to some conference for work and all that. She's doing a travel agent thing or something and uh, she's got a conference over there. So I may review some Guinness over there. Who knows? Anyway, this is four and a half. This is not recommended in a green bottle. If you can find it elsewhere, then fill your boots. I don't think I'm getting the true taste of the beer, but that's Einbecker's fault because they put it in a green bottle. So Einbecker, fucking sort your lives out. Start using brown bottles. And remember, I'm drinking this shit so you don't have to.